Sunday school time. It is good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. I'm so thankful that we were able to be here today. Um, I've tried to watch some of the convention on live stream, and it's the spirit of the Lord has been so real and so good, and I am so grateful. Um, I just feel so refreshed being here this morning. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. But it's Sunday school time, so I'm going to talk just briefly, and then I have wrangled Sunday school teacher in because it is Sunday morning, and it is Sunday school time. So we're going to have Sunday school this morning. But our general theme for the year has been gather. Deuteronomy 4 and 10, the Lord said unto me, gather me the people and together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me in all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may teach their children. We live in a day that people have lost the fear of God. This world has lost the fear of God. And we need that back. We need it in our local churches. We need it in our lives individually. And the world needs to see and understand true godly fear. It's not being afraid this world has been paralyzed by the C word over the past two years. But we don't have to fear. That's not the type of fear I'm talking about. I'm talking about the, the awesome reverence of the God that we serve that is in control of that C word. He's in control. And he has a plan in all of this. We have a responsibility. The Sunday school department was given to us as a teaching tool. How else are we going to learn? How else are we going to learn unless we are taught? So we have Sunday school. We need this more than ever. The, the months that we, didn't, we weren't able to meet in our local church and have Sunday school, we encouraged all of our people to have Sunday school in their fam with their families. Um, did you know that if you have Sunday school outside of Sunday school within the four walls of the church, that you can still be counted as having been in Sunday school? We need to remember that. Zion Hill, if you want to count Sunday school this morning, we could probably count hands and heads this morning. <laughs> What a beautiful number that is. But we need to have Sunday school. We need, we have amazing Sunday school literature um, in the church, and we need to be using that for all age groups, all levels. We need that. The Sunday school lesson, as I was preparing for this boost this morning, our Sunday school lesson goes right along with the theme of getting ready for the rapture. It, get, it goes right along with the gather theme that was the general Sunday school theme. And so we're going to have Sunday school. But let's get rooted and grounded in the Word of God. We need it now more than ever. There's a, another religious organization out there that says, give us of your children from zero to five years, and we will have them for life. We should be indoctrinating pretty much <laughs> that's, that's a that's a buzz a hot word out in the secular world but when we start as a baby feeding them the word of god they are going to have it in them the scripture tells us train up a child in the way they should go and when they are old they will not depart from it they can't get away from it. No matter how far they run, they can't get away from the truth of God's word. So we've got to do our part. I don't have children, but I still have a responsibility because I've accepted the call of Jesus 
into my heart. So I have a responsibility. I have a responsibility to train your children. Yes. Just as much as I would if I had my own children. We have a responsibility. We've got to pray. We've got to fast. We've got to get into the word of God like never before. And we've got to share. We've got to share the word of God with others. Brother Steve's coming. Go to Sunday school. Participate in Sunday school. And let's enjoy our Sunday school.